everything in the brain, it starts out unconsciously, right? Most of what's happening in our brain is happening outside of awareness. And we're only aware of a very little you know, bit of it. Um, you know, we like to think that we're the master and we're in control of things all the time, but it's not really the case. And so usually an impulse starts from these subcortical parts of the brain, the evolutionarily older parts of the brain, like our reptilian brain. And it's driving us towards something, either driving us towards something that's pleasurable or away from something that's unpleasant. And that's just an immediate urge that eventually kind of bubbles up and rises to our cortex, which is the outer layer of the brain. And we become conscious or aware of it. And then we can make a decision to either act on that impulse or to inhibit, to not act. And that's where a lot of the nuances come in, right? Because we've, we've evolved this prefrontal cortex, the most recently evolved part of our brain, and the humans have the largest percentage of prefrontal cortex compared to the rest of the brain than any other animal. So it's like the brake system that kind of thinks about the future consequences of our actions and determines like whether it would be adaptive um, or beneficial to allow ourselves to engage in that behavior that the impulse is driving us towards or away or not. And if everything is fully intact in the brain, we can make pretty adaptive decisions. But if there's either under activation of the prefrontal cortex or there's over activation of that limbic system that's driving you forward or the connection between the two is faulty, we can make maladaptive decisions. And then when you throw drugs into the mix, again, that can, uh, you know, change our, the balance a bit. And again, we can act fully on impulse without thinking about the future consequences. Um, and the last part of that is that also our prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed until about the age of 25. So that's why children and teenagers, you know, tend to make decisions that might be, you know, based on impulse without, without thinking of the consequences because their brain isn't fully formed yet. That brake system hasn't fully kicked in yet. Um, and so that's why we actually hold them less responsible for their actions, um, like even, you know, legally, um, because they really don't have the capacity to make as, as, as good of a decision as a fully grown, let's say, adult brain that's intact. 